Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday night. That means we're almost halfway through a week and we're almost halfway through January. Isn't that a frightening thought? I mean, I know it's the beginning of the year, but it seems like once you get through January, it just picks up speed and just goes to June and then we're halfway through. Anyway, tonight we are going to make, if you've never made bowl cozy before, that's what we're making tonight. So um, it's the winter season and we do a lot of soups. We do a lot of things in our microwave, so you might as well make something that works for you. This is totally washable. That may, that's what makes it nice. Acts as a pot holder also because besides being a wonderful bowl for you. Um, you need to use everything that's 100% cotton. So if you have leftover batting from quilting, it's got to be 100% cotton. You can do a little chemistry test. I want you to burn a corner, of, a corner of your cot, the batting. If the batting burns right away, that means it's cotton. If it melts, that means there's polyester in there. You need to use 100% cotton thread. So we like Aurifil at Gruber's and also Pima Cotton by Superior. So either one, check your core and make sure there's, the core is not polyester or cotton wrapped. There cannot be any polyester in this stuff because polyester mel melts and it could cause a fire in your microwave. So all, all cotton. So cotton batting, it's wonderful. You're using your leftovers. It's a great way to get rid of it. Uh, cotton thread and cotton fabric. So let's get started. So you are, first of all, getting rid of old batting, right? So I will take my wonderful, you guys know how I love um, filter select batting, or rulers, mats, everything. So. I, and your cut and your rotary cutter and my cutter yes so I bring this to 10 because I'm going to do a 10 inch square and I can turn this on a dime how cool is that so all I do is turn this again so I did the letter L and I'm going to do the number 7 which means I did this cut and now I'm going to do that cut when I'm using my rulers and everything I will always use like 10 and a half, 11 and a half or whatever, or six and a half inch rulers. And I'll always put Goodwin's little arrows in the corner of the half inch so I remember where that is. So you don't always need it, but it sure comes in handy. So that's why I always put it in the corner so I know when I turn this, I don't have a half inch up here and an inch on this one. So I'm always dealing my, with my one inches. Many times you're gonna use this half inch because it'll ask for a six and a half inch square or a 10 and a half inch square because you have to use seam allowances. So that's why I love the half inch rulers. But if I need a 10 inch square, I certainly don't want to be in this corner and all of a sudden doing a nine and a half instead of a 10 inch. So does that make sense to everybody, I hope? So then I line up these and I'm cleaning it up to get my 10 inch square. And there, and the other side was great. But isn't this a wonderful? I can spin it around on a dime. So you no longer need a turning cutting mat. I've got it right here. That's what's really great about this. So. Um, Cut 10 inch squares, 10 inch, you need two 10 inch squares of fabric, one and two. You need two 10 inch squares of batting. Once I have that, um, other usable tools, like I told you, the arrows from Goodren, we have them on Gruber's website, you can find those. They're not very expensive, like $7.99 and you get three different sheets. And the sheets last forever because there's a lot of arrows on there. Make sure your blades are sharp because it's the beginning of the year and you should always be working with a sharp blade. You are going to use this tool tonight and you're going to love this tool. So um, there's four different ways to use it and I'll show you that later on. The, this is your quarter inch tape that you can tape down. You're going to see me using that in a minute. We also have that on our website. I believe this is like $8.99 and there's, oh gosh, a lot of yardage on here. So I'll look that up for you in a minute too. You may use a chalk liner. Tonight I am actually going to use my friction pen, which I'm going to do for you right now. Um, I love these fabric clips because you're getting 12 of these for, believe it or not, drum roll, $2.99. It's so incredibly reasonable. It's like 75% less expensive than the other brand out there that I keep breaking. So, And these I've tried to break and I can't break them. I mean, I'm really trying because I figure for $2.99, they got to be breakable and not that great. But they are great. So, once I have that done, I have the 10 inch squares of everything, right? I'm going to take my longer ruler 
and I'm going to make an X on my batting. And this is not going to be seen by anything, so if you're using a chalk pencil or something else, it's all fine. I'm just using my friction pen because I love my friction pen. So I'm drawing an X through both layers of batting. This is my one layer. So it takes two to make a bowl cozy. So this is my other one. I put my fabric on so my um, right side is looking away from me and the batting right on top of it. So batting is laying on the back side, obviously. Draw my lines. And once I draw my lines, we're going to, Jean and I are going to transfer and we're going to go to my sewing machine. So you've now been at my major ironing board, pack cutting thing, everything that I love over here. And now we're going to go sew. So we are moving on, moving on down, just like the Jeffersons. Mm -hmm. We're moving on up to my sewing table, which I love. So you guys, we only have two of these left in the store. You all liked them as much I did as I did when I showed you, I think on Sunday. And you're talking about? My cutting, my ironing board, mm -hmm. this, this table. The little traveling ironing board. There are two. We have a wonderful guy. So Mary Ellen, if you're watching tonight and if your husband's bored and he wants to keep on making these, we would love it if you would keep on making them because obviously. That's what I look like for my high school graduation, just so you know. Isn't he adorable? Am I on my... I'm gonna... I'm all twisted up. It, well, it's, yeah, it's okay. Sit up a little again. Okay. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Nope. Gotta turn around. Turn around Oops. every now. You can show them that pretty fabric. They can make bowls out of. You know, you guys, if you have leftover 10 inch squares and you don't know what to do with them, this is ideal. I have a lady, okay, so some of you guys, when we made the slipper, the Christmas stockings, you made 30 of them. When you made the cute little infinity scarf, a lot of you guys made 30 of them. These bowls, Valentine's Day is coming up. You've got 10 inch squares at your house. Go ahead, make 30 of those for really wonderful friends of yours. So, I have my two fabrics here. I just have to stitch. So drop my feed dog in and put my needle down and let's let's sew. I should have had this done because now we can talk to you. So how's your week going? So you guys know that we're having a Martin Luther King week sale at Gruber's 20% off. See how I'm doing this? That's why I love that tape thing. Because I don't have to, in this case I had to draw a line, but it knows where I'm going. So drop it down again. Make my X's. As soon as I get to there, all I have to do is hold it down. Follow it up, but I know I'm going right down the middle. I love this tape. Love it, love it, love it. That's one. And of course now I got to two. So Jean, tell them a story. I'm on two. Oh, you want me to tell them? Yeah, story. because please. Well, I want to say hi to everybody that's watching. Uh, greatly appreciate everything, all the support, all the watching and following us on Facebook. It's really great. So we kind of like you guys a lot. We feel like you're all our friends. Yeah. Well, you are our friends, so thank you. So it's 20% um, off week at Gruber's. It's a whole bunch of stuff on sale, 20% off. And I mucked it up the other day because I forgot to, at the end of running some people through, bringing you out, hitting the 20% off thing to see what it automatically, our computers are really smart now and they just automatically know what you're gonna do or what we're supposed to do. So, did it clip it? There. Okay, now you guys can see I have a big X. Big X on both of them. Once I have a big X, I fold this inside like this, in half. Then I take my little ruler. I measure up one inch. Oh, I forgot my black. Where's my black? Jean, I'll hold it. Can you grab my black? 
pen, my pen over there, my friction pen. Yes, I did. I forgot to bring my pen over with me. So you can use a uh, pencil or whatever because this is all in the inside and it'll never come out. So it's very. There, now you can hear Jean talk to me again. Are you guys enjoying the 40 degree weather we had in Minnesota today? So I go up and I draw, I go up one inch, mark it one inch. I go out towards the middle and I mark two inches. And then I connect them. Diagonally. Uh, diagonally. If you're uncomfortable with stitching, put your clover, put your wonderful pen in, pin in here to hold that. Go to the other side. Do two inches. You guys, these bowls are perfect for your microwave. Because then, you know what, it doesn't make a mess in your microwave because you have a bowl in there and it's all totally washable. So it's all good. Mark my one inch, two inches and one inch. Go like that. If you're uncomfortable, pin it. Do the same thing with the other one. This is really bad. So what happens when you have them for a long time. You know, pins do die too, you know. And I go to the next one. Do the same thing. Go one up, go two over, and draw your diagonal line so you can see it. Pin it. See how easy this is, you guys? You can make this like assembly line. Just in case you miss some people for Christmas and you still have to give them a gift, they're going to love these. Well, first of all, you have to tell them what to do. You have to send, this is for microwave proof, or for in your microwave you can do. Because you know we used to make potato bags. Did you guys ever make potato bags? Gene and I made potato bags, but we made them longer and bigger so we could make sweet corn in them. And they were like beyond delicious, right, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, it was the best way to make it. It is, they're so sweet. This one's dull too. You guys, you really need to check your pins. Oh my gosh. Mine are just duller than dull. Only that one was really sharp. So now you're going to go through. And so on that and so diagonal on, line. Yep, follow my diagonal line. you got a line right here to follow. Go around. Get my other dart. Basically, you're making darts right now. It looks kind of stupid. Do you remember, did you guys have to do darts when you were in high school? Do they even have darts on any clothes anymore? Oh, Jeannie wouldn't know. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> However, Unless you're talking to another one. Yeah. Anyway, God, I remember in home ec, making darts was like the worst thing ever. Actually, wearing clothes that had darts in them were, were horrible too, especially if you didn't have anything to put in them to make the darts worthwhile. Namely. Hmm. But anyway, I am making four darts. Once I have these four darts done, guess what? Can you imagine what I'm going to do? It's called fold it in half. I now have darts on all these four corners. You can, right now, cut this to a quarter inch because that's all extra anyway, and it stops all the bulk from being inside your, your little caddy, your, the bowl that we're making. So cut those away because they just get in the way anyway and you don't need all that bulk. So remember, throw these away. You should do your um, test though to make sure that um, you are using 100% cotton. So now, see how I have half of them? So now I'm going to fold them in half the other way. So you're going to have a little ripple, just kind of ignore that for a little bit. Go up one inch, over two, it becomes like a dance. You do get good at it after a while, by the way. Remember, the two go always goes towards the center, if that helps you. And pin it. You know what? If you can pin it if you want, you can clip it again. Go on this side. Go out one. 
and I'm going over to. Are you sure? Sue? No, I'm not. Thank you, Gino. Four eyes are always better than two, aren't they? And over two. Um, that's the old saying. Measure twice, cut once. And if it gets around 10 o'clock at night, measure five times and cut once. Because that's when we do all of our boo-boos. Okay, here we go. Bring it over. Just when I told you the two goes towards the center, I'm the one that didn't go to the center. Second one. Bring it in, bring it over. So Gino, you can make these then, couldn't you, if you ever wanted to. You've been trained. It's all good. So have you guys been having a good January, I hope? Got past the new year? I heard um, some of you guys have more snow than we have. Funny how that happens, isn't it? Mother Nature. Some of you guys don't know how to move snow like they do in Minnesota. We have a, we have paid professionals. I'm sure other places do too. We just have really big snow removal equipment because we are Minnesota. We are north. So when you have the ruler on top of the fabric instead of on your sewing bed, it's a lot easier. It is. All right. My last darts. My last darts and then we get to voila, put the stuff together. It's pretty darn cool. Okay. One dart, that's my third. Third dart on this guy. And final dart. Okay. Trim off your excess. Release, release your bulk. This is the inside of your cozy, so it really doesn't matter about that little thread hanging over. One more. And my final cut. There. Those. Now that I have that done, see how it's starting to look cool? You put right sides together. So pretty gets to look at pretty. We don't get to look at pretty until we're almost done. So you put them inside each other. And then, if you guys aren't Wonder Clip users yet, you should be. You take these wonderful little Wonder Clips, pin a lot, clip a lot. I have mine in a bowl. They are the handiest things ever. So I use them on my chips. My use them instead of paper clips. They are just so they they're almost matching here, point to point, in the center. So they, to release your bulk, have one go one way and the other go the other way. My other dart. Bring it out to the edge here. Lay them on top of each other. You can do about a half inch seam allowance because you're dealing with more bulk. And this is going to be abused. Well, you hope it's going to be abused because you want it in the wash. You want it in the microwave. You don't want it just sitting sitting around not knowing what you do. I know people that would make um, the potato bags for people and they never used them. And they would come in the store and I'd say, Are you, do you have a potato bag? Yeah, I do, but I don't know what it's for or how to do it. I'm going, oh, good Lord. Stick your potato in, put it in the microwave, pop a hole in it because you have to punch a little hole in it because otherwise... Potatoes don't like not having a thing to breathe with, and they burst. So, there, I've got it all clipped around. She got her finger exercises in. I did. Mm -hmm. And now I want you to leave about a three inch swatch in here, because we have to turn this inside out. So I'm gonna start going around it at about a half inch. And when I get to the edge, About a half inch, pivot, 
and go all the way around. So the, when I get back to the orange, I'm going to know I'm back to the beginning again. Put on my clips where they're supposed to go. Make sure you're always going through all four layers. And it kind of does a little angle thing here for you. So it's not like perfectly square. Because as you know, when you got to your bowl, it wraps around your bowl a little bit, which is kind of cool. So I bring it here to point, pivot, go into my points, and bring it around. So my machine is working beautifully now, you guys. It has a new needle in it. That's what you do on the first of the year. Remember I told you Jean helped me clean it out the other day? And we, I put the, my bobbin thing somewhere. Someday it'll show up when I least expect it. Got all four layers, everything's going down here. And go down and around. Once you get these going on a little system, it goes so fast. And I have to go over there. So I know where my beginning is. Because you need to leave, leave about three inches to turn it inside out. And when you get to that point, you want to make sure you backstitch your work. So it doesn't come undone. So just go back. And forth. So now I take this out, break my thread, open it up, and now I want you to trim around it. Trim those corners off because you don't need them, and that takes away the bulk. Trim that off. Should have four corners, they're all gone, all goes in the garbage. And now comes the uh, aha moment. You're opening. Go to the end, way in the inside, and bring it in and around, and bring it down, and bring it through. The birthing of a bowl cozy. Bring it through. Look at how it's happening. It's so pretty. It makes you so proud when you made something like this. Your kids could do this too, you guys. If you have grandchildren to make them really happy, take your... This wonderful little tool has this pointer. That's what we're using. There is a wonderful little pointer in here that's too sharp for this instance, and you are not using your seam ripper. Yay. No, not for this project. Nope. <laughs> we're going to skip that for that. We'll save it for another time. So all you're doing now is pointing your edges, getting them cleaned up, bringing it out. There's one, I have three more to do this with. There it is. Took a while to find that corner. There's one. Mm -hmm. And number two is coming. Yeah, you could do most of this by your hand work to bring it out, maybe. This is a wonderful tool by Alex Anderson and it is just a delight because you know, first of all, it's it's real wood and it's meant to be used and strong. And I love it. I love that there's four tools in there and that it doesn't roll around on me. Which is pretty cool. So bring this out. There's my point. Point. Okay, I've got one more. Where did it go? Because they all look kind of cut. Oh, there it is closest to mine. Now when you get this all done I want you to do about a quarter inch finishing seam all the way around and that just basically finishes it off. So if I'll have Jean bring my other one and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. It's on your traveling ironing board so yeah. it's close by. Oh it is good. So I don't have to keep you guys that long. So once I have this done everything kind of folds into each other 
so I have a clean edge right here because this is where my seam goes together and it's not that hard just have to clip it with your little wonder clips or whatever you happen to be using lay this on here bring it in stitch all the way around kind of form it mold it once you do that I want you to stitch all the way around with a quarter inch to half inch so it looks like this see I've got that all going around it so you can use either side it's totally reversible and you just have to put your bowl in voila that ladies it, and everybody is your bowl cozy for this evening Hope so that that was a 10 inch square 10 inch two 10 inch squares mm -hmm. two in it two 10 inch pieces of batting and basically I made darts on them as you saw, as saw it's a one inch and two inch going around it so yeah. obviously it would take a bigger square for a bigger serving bowl yeah yeah and you don't want to get much smaller than this either because this is a cereal bowl so I don't think you'd go that much smaller in your microwave but how cool is that? So super fast, easy to make, 10 inch squares, two of them, and you've got that. Um, this should be a YouTube. I think that uh, that's Jill will be making this so that you'll have reference to this. If you have any questions, give us a call at Gruber's and we will gladly walk you through these. So thank you for joining me tonight with our bowl cozy. Have a great night.